Look, I just wanted to take uh, this short opportunity to thank everyone. We've had a magnificent campaign under the title of Disable Inequality, and it has really made a major hit during the election campaign. There's an awareness now around the ordinary issues for people with disabilities uh, and their families that was not there before this general election. So we really have, with the help of hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people, we've hundreds of people with disabilities that have actually put themselves out there very publicly by telling their own intimate story and the impact that disability has on, on them and those they love around them. And we have more and more people coming through on that. Um, the, the, the media, I suppose, News Talk, Irish Times um, and the Journal were really, really uh, front and centre in promoting this, as were many, many of the local radios and newspapers around the country, too many to mention. But the social media side of this was just phenomenal for us, between Facebook and Twitter and the video and a whole range of things. I don't know, I don't understand all the ins and outs of these things, but you guys probably know them better. That was fantastic. The support we got from people who were not from the disability movement or sector to actually help put the campaign together. And the greatest thing we have coming out of this now is we have a whole new generation of young, uh, enthusiastic and stubborn people with disabilities that are actually going to stick with it. And it's up to DFI and the rest of the movement to actually support you um, in, in, the, in the years ahead. All the government, all the different parties and entities in the election said that ratification of the UN Convention was important for them. And that's to be done by the end of this year. Now, ratifying is one thing, but it's not worth anything to you if it doesn't mean that you can go places, that you can be involved in your local community, that you can be educated, that you can go on to college, get a job, be part of your family, be part of your community, or if you become disabled, that you can get back into the, the middle uh, of, of things again. So that's all I want to do um, today, is just to say a really, really heartfelt thanks um, to everybody. Um, DFI put a, put a lot of investment and time into this, and it has really, really uh, well paid off. We now uh, have the capacity and the people who are interested to run other campaigns. We have the budget will be coming up all too shortly and there will be other uh, issues and work to be tackled over the years to come. So thank you all very much. And I should, before I finish up, um, um, thank very particularly um, the staff of DFI um, who have worked tirelessly and really got passionate about this and were out and about and uh, been very innovative and doing a lot of, a lot of things all, all beyond the call of duty, as you might say. Thank you very much.